Welcome everybody to Man Combat Computer Reports, and today I'm going to be doing Total War Warhammer, or Warhammer Total War, I'm not sure which way it goes, but we got the Dwarves vs. the Chaos, you can see the troop types on there, they don't really say what they are anymore, so you just kind of have to look at the pictures of what they're like. Uh, these are going to be cool, the Gyro Choppers, uh, Choppers, 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 I'm not sure what, anyway, um, but this is what I'm particularly excited about, this. I am going to be playing this, these quest games, but at the end of these quest games, actually beginning July 6th, uh, I am going to be beginning a campaign, but it's not going to be like most campaigns where you, where the player just plays it and you just watch him, whatever he does. Uh, I'm actually going to have all of you as the Senate. So anybody who is watching is going to be my Dwarven Senate. And uh, basically, at various times, I'm going to go, okay, should we do A, B, or C? Should we go attack this place, or should we use diplomacy, or should we do this or that? And you, you guys will actually choose. Uh, also, when we name things, I'm going to have it be, you know, again, the uh, of, up to the vote from the Senate. Uh, so if you want to name somebody Bodie McBoatface, we can name that guy Bodie McBoatface, but it'll be based on votes, based on the people who are there watching, and the game will be recorded based on that, and then it'll, of course, stay on YouTube uh, for prosperity. We're not playing this on Twitch, we are playing on a YouTube, we're going to play the YouTube live, and then it'll just stay on the, um, uh, on the timeline. And then in between games, if you didn't catch it live, if you weren't able to watch live, uh, but you're seeing between, I, at the end of the sessions, I'll also say, okay, so by the next session, should we do A, B, or C? And you can still put your votes by the next uh, session. So it should be quite interesting, quite exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. In the meantime, what I'm doing to kind of uh, promote this is I'm playing the quest games. Basically in um, Warhammer Total War, instead of having historical games, because this isn't real history, sorry, uh, but they what they have is you choose like a character and they have several uh, quests that that character went on with his army. So you uh, you know you choose the character, you go on those quests. In this particular case, there are five, so I'm going to be uploading these five. Even though it's not in the regular rotation of videos, these are in addition to the regular videos. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to put these up and uh, play them through. And each time, you'll let you know about the campaign that's coming up. Also, this is me practicing with the dwarves, so you're going to see some pretty lame playing. But hopefully, I'm going to be improving and getting better by the time we get uh, to the game. Anyway, so let's see what our forces are. We've got the dwarves all along here. Uh, now, I usually act like uh, you know I'm the narrator in between. I'm neutral or whatever. This time, I'm just admitting. Obviously, I played the dwarves. So, uh, what I did was I play placed my crossbowmen all along the front here, uh, all of them up there, and they are backed up by the organ guns. Now, of course, the organ guns probably can't shoot through them, but the idea is that we're going to go up to this hill, to the top of this hill. We couldn't start at the top of the hill at this rise. Put the organ gunners at the top put this crossbowmen just below them so we can maximize our firepower there. And then they are backed up by iron breakers, uh, longbeards, basically a bunch of badass axemen type of thing there. Uh, anyway, a lot of real strong dwarfs. Big long line there. Uh, the strategy up here, the idea is to put my um, range units up at the top and just start slinging uh, shots at them and keep the, uh, keep the actual soldiers like the um, hand to hand ones back, you know, down here in this little uh, gully area behind it, sort of keep them hidden so that they think, oh, well, hey, we can go up and get those archers, no problem, take them out, and then we come up. I meanwhile also put down here uh, another unit. The idea is that these guys would really remain hidden. The, basically, what you have are long, more axemen basically backed up by slayers. Slayers are really interesting. The idea is they are suicidal dwarves, dwarves that. Uh, basically, we want to commit suicide, so they're running after the um, strongest, baddest, you know, creature to uh, basically kill them. Actually, at least that was the way it was uh, several editions ago. I have not kept up with the editions, but uh, it was there was once upon a time that was the idea of the Slayers. I always thought that was interesting. Anyway, and then you've got over here the uh, gy gyrocopters, and way back here because I forgot to place them is uh, Ungren Iron Fist. It's his uh, group of of uh, battles. He's the one that uh, I'm doing the um, quest for. Anyway, so the idea, actually here, I'll put it on the big map. So you can see I've sort of got them separated here, and this looks like the main force, and then this is sort of the side force. The idea is for these guys to go up on this ridge and start slinging things and get the uh, enemy's attention, get them to come up after that, and then these guys will come up here and hit them on the flank. Uh, that's why I put the attack units down here. Dwarves are not very fast, 
but hopefully uh, we'll be able to go up there and, and take them out. Um, now, over here, what we have on the Chaos side is a long line of the Chaos Warriors and Chaos Marauders. Chaos Marauders! If you ever played the game Chaos Marauders, you know why I'm screaming that. Anyway, um, looks like back here you've got uh, probably the leaders back there somewhere. And, um, it's really mixed in here, though. You just have a, a very chaotic uh, group of units all amongst each other. Go figure, they are Chaos. Uh, and on their flanks, they have... Uh, oh, Chaos Knights. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, all of the horsemen on one side and horsemen on the other, so basically they're protecting their flanks with their cavalry uh, and putting their strong units in the middle, just sort of mixed in with each other. Let's go take a look at what they look like out here through the snow. All right. So there are there are their horsemen, marauder horsemen. Probably going to be fast, and then chaos knights, so they're going to be the slow, heavy cavalry. We got chaos marauders, chaos marauders! Chaos Warriors, Chaos Spawn, so it just seems to be kind of mixed in there. Do they have uh, oh, great weapons, so they're leading with their stronger unit, which is unusual. Great weapons, oh, they're sort of behind. So, oh, okay, so it's like they're in the middle. Chaos Marauders, Chaos Spawn, and probably Chaos Marauders. Okay, so it's like there you have the really thick, heavy center and thinner sides. So let's take a look at how this went, even though we, you know, I've already played it and already know how it happens. I'm going to narrate it the way I always do. Oh, well, he wants them to bring death. Sorry, I've decided I'd go to the higher level. You know what? I should just watch this from the from this direction so you see where everybody's going. All right, so of course, as you see, they're going to send their cavalry out to sort of scout, which is a good idea. Oh, yeah, here we got their chariots, gas chariot. Going sort of to the center, they're going to try to figure out where we are. I've of course got these guys hidden. I'm moving them up basically to the ridge so that once they go up into my trap, because these guys are of course going to the ridge, and they're going to try to really attract them that direction. Partly because they're slinging things at them, but also because you know they're light units. They, there's nothing up here, just a bunch of bowmen. Go attack them, and then these guys will run up to the side. Now I have the gyro choppers going around the side, uh, gyro copters, I should say. Going around the side just kind of because I, I caught a glimpse at this cavalry here, so I just kind of wanted to try to see where they were. Basically, keep them. Basically, I didn't want them to come around this side and catch me in the flank here or see what I had. I really just wanted them to feed them up this direction. So I put the gyro choppers around here to try to kind of reel, not bring them this way, but to kind of encourage them to go that way. And as you can see, they're starting to do that. They're going up that direction, and we've got. Uh, now we've got these guys all lining up along here, and you've got our, uh, the, what are these called? These are the flamethrowers, Iron Drake Flamethrower Infantry. They look really interesting. Let's uh, go down to them. No yeah, no mercy. So they're all getting ready, and you can see the Chaos are starting to come this direction, but they kind of went up to this lip here. And it's, I'm getting nervous because it's like, okay, are they seeing me yet? But not quite yet, so I'm trying to stay hidden. Oh, shh, guys, quiet, quiet. We don't want them to know we're down here because we want them to go up there because if they attack us right down there, we are really screwed. And look at this. It looks like uh, not quite seeing them yet, but they're getting close. And uh, the choppers are trying to wrangle them in, not go that direction. But of course now their cavalry has come down here. And that is the use of cavalry. You get to figure out where they are. That is going to be a huge weakness with the dwarves. Is they? It's not just a matter of not being very maneuverable. It's also a matter of not much recon. We're going to really re be relying on these choppers because you need some form of recon. All right. Well now they are trying to, hoping against hope that they have scared them away from the ones down here and trying to send them up to the top. Now they've come around here and shooting down and hitting that uh, the chariot. Basically, we're again trying to keep them from coming down. We do not want them down coming down this way because then they've hit our weaker area. And now they're just sending their leader down there, which is really not good for us. Oh, and yeah. So I think we can. Pretty well assumed they are going to. Now I, have, I brought the uh, Slayers back, even you know, they usually don't pull back, but 
I didn't want to get them tied up with the, the chariots, which I'm really trying to just take care of with the uh, choppers. Now these uh, the axe infantry can go up there, uh, the slayers can go up there. But as you can see, they have figured us out, and they're just sending everything down after us down here. We're, I'm trying to bring my leader up here. We also have the chaos spawns are just coming in and wreaking havoc. But now my leader is in there. Oh, and he, they're fight, he's fighting his leader. So it is mano y mano, but also they are bringing in a lot of horses. And it is just fully engaged down here. We just were not able to do that. Meanwhile, you can see up here we are doing well. Although they have sent some cavalry around here to uh, threaten our flank. Now here's the problem. They, with their maneuverability, they have threatened our flank. And now we're using up a lot of resources that really could be used down here instead over here to protect our flank. Our lord is in. I, fulfill my oath. I have news for them. Our lord was under attack a long time ago. Oh, ouch. That hurts. Yeah, in fact, this whole thing just really hurts. I mean, look at this. I mean, the, the choppers are doing what they can to uh, give support. But it sounded like somebody just said, oh, baby. And, but now, yeah, it is really, they, that was, my entire plan was based on the idea that these guys do not get seen and they come around for a flank, not that they would get completely hit. So, and now they're bringing cavalry around to hit us in the rear. And now they've got reinforcements coming from back here. This is not a good sign. In fact, it's cavalry, so they're going to be here very soon. And they're, if they go after here, they've just finished us off. Uh, if they go up here, now we have an entirely new front. These guys have not seen much action. They have taken care of the cavalry over there on their left, you can see. Now they can come down here. Now I did bring it down some people to try to rescue them, namely the flamethrower infantry. I was going to try to bring them around to hit them in the rear, but they got hit by these great axe infantry, the Chaos Marauders, which the Chaos Marauders are getting uh, decimated here. Well, killed, because I brought down some axe infantry. But they're slowing us down enough that we're not going to be able to reach the bottom area in time. And especially because they're bringing in more warriors and now even they're in trouble. This rescue force is getting into trouble. Um, now we are shooting at them, but we just don't have very good angles. Had they come up against, across this field, we would have had great angles on them, but they came from the low. Now we're in really bad shape and they're now coming from behind. And just blue shields falling everywhere. I guess when we're on the move, it's uh, we're more vulnerable to cavalry. And I just don't see these uh, organ guns having much effect. Whoa, that one's just spinning! <laughs> and now at this point, I'm just so screwed in all directions. Here, let's, let's pause again just to take a look at what's going on here. So this big action is going on. Uh, there's this action going on where they attack some... Uh, Bowmen and I went to protect him with uh, Axemen. At this point, it's, a lot of it is like Bowmen are under attack, go send some Axemen in to save them. This uh, rescue squad has themselves gotten cut off and are have their backs against the wall, quite literally. And down here, there just is not much left. They are fighting for their survival. The choppers are still trying to do what they can. Uh, and our leader is fighting uh, against these uh, chaos spawns. Th this is where you cue the sad music. Oh, and a chariot comes in to him. This is an order. That guy just showed his big balls at him. Off we go. Oh, and yeah, now they've now the axemen have retreated. They don't have a lot that can take on our uh, choppers, our gyrocopters, which is good. But oh well, but the warrior is uh, holding his own. Oh, he took down another chaos spawn. One to go! One to go! You can do it, man! You can do it! Yeah! Chop him! And chop down that tree! Chaos tree! Oh! Took him up over his head! Yes! Nicely done! Oh! And taking down some of them! This is one thing I like in this. Is this building up these characters. One thing I've always liked is... Oh yeah! Taking on the main bad guy, too. 
I've always liked the combination of role playing and army games. You know, taking the what happens with the small and seeing how it affects the large. Yeah, you better run. Um, and he's chasing after them, even though it's just a small guy with some tiny feet. Um, oh yeah. Um, man, he's tough. But yeah, I like the idea of like seeing. Um, oh, took him down. That's it, and he died dramatically. But I like the idea of, of taking, you know, the individuals and seeing how it works in the large scale. And man, okay, bombs bombs away here. Some of our axemen going, oh, just throw it. And at this point, it is just chaos. Again, no pun intended, it just is. I mean, they, they basically are having their way. Ooh, caught him on fire, that's nice. They're having their way. Once chaos is spreading, they're at the advantage, and that's exactly what's happening. We are just simply telling, although they have some retreating men, that's awesome. Uh, but we're basically just telling our men, just go wherever you see a uh, place of battle, and, uh, you know, every man for, or every dwarf for himself, or whatever. I'm not really going around a lot of the battlefield, because you're pretty much seeing everything right here. This is what's happening everywhere at this point. We're just, just kill whatever you can. Try to pull it out. And we keep pushing him back, which is good. And now we have one full unit going in at them here, so it's one fresh attack. Oh, I love how he headbutted him. Oh, but that was it. That caused them to retreat now. I think it's a full retreat at this point. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, well, my first battle ended in a uh, defeat. So hopefully I'll get better at this and uh, hopefully at least in time for uh, the campaign. But for now, thank you all for watching. As I said, I will have more of these over the coming weeks. And uh, coming July 6th, we will have the uh, campaign. So be there to see that. And uh, if you missed the actual... Oh, yeah, it's going to be July 6th at 6 p.m. So easy to remember. Uh, well, July is 7, so 7 6, 6 Be there and be square. And if you miss it, you'll still be able to make votes before the next one, which will be the following Tuesday. And we'll just do every Tuesday from then on throughout the campaign. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming, everybody.